Welcome to How to Register a Business Name in Kentucky, presented by StartingYourBusiness.com. This video is a part of a series of videos on starting a business in Kentucky. After deciding on the legal entity of your business, it's time to decide on a name. While it's not required, we would first recommend checking to see if there is a trademark protecting the name you want to use. Here's a quick guide on how to check. First, go to the United States Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO.gov. When you get to USPTO, click on Trademarks. You can learn more about trademarks here, but to search names that are currently trademarked, click on the Search Trademark Database. Next, click on the Basic Wordmark Search. In the Search Term field, type in the business name you want to use. In this example, let's enter Mr. Handyman and click Submit. There are a number of listings that come up with a search, and sometimes they are similar and sometimes not. With this particular name, there are a few causes of concern that would likely want you to have a legal professional review before attempting to register your name. There are a few names that include Mr. Handyman, along with some additional words that are probably safe to use. The names in this column that are dead are likely safe too, as the previous registrant did not renew their name. Now, here is a live listing for Mr. Handyman to be the most concerned about. You can click on that listing to see more information. In some cases, a name that is trademarked can still be used since trademarks are grouped in categories in what the USPTO calls classes, and there can typically be a trademark name in unrelated classes. In this example, Mr. Handyman is registered under Home Repair and General Maintenance Services within the Goods and Services category. You could potentially register Mr. Handyman if your business operated outside of Home Repair and General Maintenance Services. If you do a search and the name you want is registered, you may want to consider getting professional help. If you don't, you may invest a lot of time and money establishing a business name that you may have to later abandon. Once the trademark search is out of the way, the process of registering a business name will vary depending on the type of organization chosen. For sole proprietorships or partnerships, there are two options. One is to operate under the owner's full first and last name, like John Smith. This type of name does not need to be registered. Most businesses will, however, want to operate under a trade name like John Smith's Handyman Service, Mr. Handyman, and so on. To register a business name for a sole proprietorship or partnership, File the Certificate of Assumed Name with the County Clerk's Office in the county where the business will be located. The fee for filing varies by county, but is typically about $20. To register a name for a corporation or LLC, you must have a unique name at the time of filing. To check the availability of names, visit the Kentucky Secretary of State's website. While nobody else can form a corporation or LLC with your business name in Kentucky, someone else could still legally use your business name. Regardless of which entity you use to register your business name, registering does little to stop anyone from using your name. To keep others from using it, consider getting a trademark. For more information about registering your business name in Kentucky, check out startingyourbusiness.com. If you like this video on how to register a business name in Kentucky, be sure to watch the others in the Starting a Business in Kentucky series. Starting a business can be difficult, but you don't have to do it on your own. The StartingYourBusiness.com site has lots of information to help get your business started, and we have experienced business advisors ready to answer your questions at no cost.